Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. Today we are going to make a mold with PLA. We will be using the Smooth Sill 940 to create our silicone mold. We have received quite a bit of requests on making a mold with PLA, so here we are. This is our first time making a silicone mold, but we do have some knowledge on how to roughly make one. We already made our Lego rectangle and 3D printed our model for the mold. First, we have to use some clay to prevent the model from moving when we pour the silicone in. So we will put a little bit of clay on the back and place it onto a glass. Afterwards, place the Lego rectangle over the pieces and use the clay to surround the Lego rectangle. This will prevent the silicone from leaking as well as prevent the Lego from moving around. Here it is. Now we have to mix our silicone. We need 7 grams of the part A silicone mixture and 70 grams of the part B silicone mixture. You will need to have the exact measurements of both the mix to create the silicone mold. You can adjust the values to suit your needs. Let's combine the two and mix it. We have to mix it thoroughly. Mix it until you see a very smooth pink according to the instructions. I think that should be good. Before we proceed to pouring the silicone mixture in, we will have to do a quick spray with a mold release. One layer should be good. Now let's pour it in. Once the mixture is mixed, there's only 30 minutes before it starts to harden. Pour it in slowly and make sure you cover the gaps and fill, fill it out completely. Afterwards, you can use a tool to tap the Lego to help release the air bubbles from inside the mixture. It is not a necessary process, but it'll help. It takes roughly 8 hours for the silicone to cure, so we'll just wait. It's been 8 hours, now we can remove the Lego and the clay. Here is what the bottom looks like. You can see some of the silicone actually reached under the model, but no worries. Well there we have it. We tried making a silicone mold and it came out really nice. It's a very quick and easy way to make a silicone mold. Next, we will have to test out the mold, but that will be another episode. That's the end of our experiment today. Remember to subscribe below and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.